Hi guys, how's it going? It's Adam here. Uh, so I decided to make a return to YouTube. Um, fortunately, this time I'll not be doing Call of Duty videos. Um, if you're new to my channel and you don't know me, uh, don't ask. Please don't go looking for them because the, they're still on YouTube, but they're called Jod. Oh, they were awful. Um, but anyway, I'm back now. Uh, I've decided to do car videos. Um, just vlogs and general stuff. Um, modifying, just days out with friend, car shows, bit of coverage. Um, not really planning to go massive, but just to share a bit of content and show the world what's out there in terms of the car scene in Northern Ireland. Um, I'd just like to say a big thanks to my friend Vicky. Um, she was actually the one who talked me into getting back into YouTube. So uh, I'll link her description, or link her, <laughs> I'll link her channel in the description below. Um, she has a really awesome S2000 and her husband Ryan has nice Jordan Civic and a DC5. Unbelievably nice cars, so definitely get on, go check her channel out there and see. Um, sorry if this is really, well, not edited at all, it doesn't be scripted at all. Um, just doing this in one take, I still need to get Sony Vegas back onto my laptop, I have it in a hard drive somewhere. Uh, but I need to get time to download that and get it loaded on, um, get back into the swing of things. Um, but hopefully going forward from this, my next videos will be edited and cut and they'll not be as unprofessional. So uh, I'll take you out and show you um, the current project that I'm working on. It's a 2001 um, Lexus IS 200. Uh, so this is actually the second project I have at the minute. Um, the first one's completed. It's a 2.9 XR44 Ford Sierra. And I have a dealer driver as well, which is a Saab 93. But uh, we're in the garage here, so we'll just knock the lights on and uh, flip the camera around. And I'll uh, let you see what we're dealing with. So this is my Lexus IS200 that I've been working on. Uh, I actually only bought this car fairly recently. Um, we're now on December 23rd. Jesus, two days before Christmas. I bought this car on the 26th of October, completely standard. And uh, since buying the car, I have uh, I've added the full BN sports body kit. Um, LED tail lights, LED fog lights, Jap number plate, DRD plate recess. Obviously I have the 4D gel plates there as well. Um, TRD ducktail spoiler, we have the Vortex spoiler up top, um, again BN skirts, we have the Alteza one deflectors, um, just purely for the fact that I couldn't get plain ones, we have smoked indicators, um, BN front bumper, tinted fogs, I've actually split the headlights as well, I've painted the bezels black and I've installed the LED halo rings. We got the Alteza grill, genuine new Alteza badge, and then obviously just the passenger side, the same pretty much. Um, the interior is where this gets pretty funky. So coming up to the inside here, I've uh, quite a bit of work done to the interior, which is unusual to see around these parts of the wood. So red floor mats, not really that big of a deal. Um, also, if you want to check out my friend. Drifloom. Uh, I'll link his uh, channel in the description below also. Um, so just to come in here, we got the Epman uh, red shift gator, got the knob, sorry. Um, we have the Honda DC2 Recaros in red. There's some uh, nice Takata harnesses to finish them off. I've always wanted a car with the, the Recaro, red Recaro to green to cat harness combo so I'm absolutely chuffed that uh, I've finally been able to get that. Um, we've added in a harness bar as you can see here. Um, nice subtle finish. I didn't want to have the harnesses coming down on the rear seats. I still want to be able to put passengers in there. Um, however, I wouldn't want to be a passenger in the back if I was to have a Head on collision because that's that's gonna take out some teeth. <laughs> um, so coming on around, uh, I'll grab the key here. That you see these halos. Oh yeah, the the um, three inch 
stainless right the way back. As you can see, to the shotgun tips. Uh, also have the stainless six branch manifold on there as well. Just let you see his heel rings. I'll uh, not start the car because it's extremely loud. Um, I don't want to like, mess up the, the audio. Um, we have the OEMP steering wheel on here as well with the boss kit. Uh, I was going to go for an NRG snap off kit. Um, decided to go with this just because it's kind of a bit more OEM looking. Um, then we've done the blue LEDs in the dash as well there. Just a nice touch. Something to personalise it. And uh, something that's also kind of rare is I've done the black suede headliner up here as well. Um, pillars done as well. I do need to get the LED lights um, for the interior, as you can see. But uh, work in progress, work in progress. So come around the front. Um, the car pulled a bit too far forward to see. But I've got the heel rings in there. They're kind of messing up the camera a bit. Um, they, they can change colors, so you can go red, yellow, neon, they flash. It's nice, nice touch. It's something different. So, coming back round, that's pretty much all we've got to show for the minute. Not the vlogs on here. Also, have the LED headlights on there as well. But, get round the back. So we have, this is, we have all the LEDs in the back here, um, pretty cool, I have the fog light mod coming, um, which basically turns the rear fogs on with the tail lights, um, they're dim and then when you brake they lighten up, so it's kind of cool, um, that should be here after the new year, we'll get that put in, um, but for now that's just about it. Now. You might think that is, it looks pretty finished. Um, I do get some people asking me, do you know, what's the next step? What are you going to do next? Um, I have HSD coilovers sitting there ready to go in. Um, Japan Racing JR12s. Uh, you know, you see, they're 18 by 9.5 ET35, so they'll be pretty stancy boy. Um, 25 mil spacers for the back, 10 mil spacers for up front. So I'm going for the pretty stancy look. Um, considering, I haven't settled, I'm considering air ride, but we will see how things go in the future. Um, but the next big thing on the list is the 1JZ conversion. Um, have ha, have got an engine sourced. Um, I need to get down and get a look at that and see what we make of it, but that's the next plans. But yeah, this is um this is just a starter video. If you want, um comment below. Um I'll do a walk around with the Sierra. As says that project's completed. Um I don't think I'll ever be adding anything else to it. Um we used it for a wedding car for well, me and the wife obviously. We used it for a wedding car. We don't really want to change anything on it. Um because I want to keep it the way it was during the wedding day. Also, the wife has a 2009 Ford Fiesta. That's full respray. Kind of nice. Fairly well modified. If you want to see that, let me know. Um, and hopefully I'll get a couple of videos just of myself and friends and stuff. I'm just chilling out, working on cars and the usual. So, um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the channel take well. Hopefully I get a bit of viewers on it. If I can provide entertainment for folk and give some folk something to watch, I'll be happy enough. But uh, anyway guys, I'll cut this video off. Um, thanks for watching. Um, and if you want to see more content, hit the subscribe and comment below. Thanks.